don't you put on? <laughs> Here we are in Palmerton, Pennsylvania, and I'm getting ready for a little Appalachian Trail hiking. We're gonna head north out of here and do from the Lehigh River, about 22 miles north up to Wind Gap. And I'm here gonna get some food and meet up with a couple other YouTubers. I think Michael Farr Jr. is gonna be showing up here somewhere. And I don't see him yet. never know what you're going to find in these small little towns. Here we are at the parking at Lehigh Gap. This is on the north side of the bridge and there's room for, ooh, I bet there's room for 20 cars easy in here. So first things first, we'll get out of this super awesome parking and work southbound. We're gonna cross the bridge over the Lehigh River and go up a really steep incline. And I believe Kurt Zitzelman got an early start as well, so he should be up at the shelter hanging out. I saw him post on Twitter earlier in a very comfortable looking hammock. So if you're wondering how to get into the parking, as soon as you come through the gap, there's a really, really obscure sign. A tiny dirt road that goes right up there. And a whole ton of traffic that doesn't really want you to do that. So it's a little sporty getting in there. Good grief, I'm waiting for a traffic light here. And nobody coming, nobody coming. This is the worst game of Frogger I've ever seen. Oh, I found the dots. The dots are on the other side of the road along the edge. There's no shoulder there. I see shoulder here. So what we're gonna do is get on the shoulder because I like it. Stand by for some shoulder itch. Gotta get down there, goofy piece of. Okay, this is the bridge crossing out of uh, Lehigh Gap. I guess this is the Lehigh River. And getting here from up north a little further was a little sporty. I either clearly did not know how to go, although there were dots along the road. It's rush hour, super crowded, super crazy. The river's super cool. And traffic super gnarly. Had a great afternoon with Michael Fryer Jr. And you can see his best hour of the day. I'll put the link down below. It was a great time today doing some B-roll footage for some of his videos. I did a little bit. I'm not sure if I'll be able to make a video out of it or not. All right, so they don't want you parking right here. There's room for a couple cars. So I've got to say, this is some of the worst trail ever. So that sign that was up, uh, where is it, on that tree right there that we just saw. I have no idea where that goes or what that is, but off to the left a little bit. Here we go. Here's some trailage. Ta-da! And we are going 0.7 miles to the Outer Bridge Shelter and hopefully spring where the mysterious Kurt Zitzelman is. So this is supposedly steep, like 700 foot climb in seven tenths of a mile. And it's not horribly steep, but it's pretty steep. 
starting to get dark. I'm not sure how much video I'm going to do on the way up. Maybe in the morning I'll catch it on the way down. Sounds like a better idea. So that's the spring. That little pipe there. This is the metal container. Beware of moose turds and whatnot. So wowie zowie, that's a steep climb to get up here. And where is that spring? There it is down there. And it's working. It's a nice little spring. So the shelter should be right up the trail here. We will get up there and check it out. Aha! There he is. The mysterious Mr. Z. Here we are at the George Outer Bridge shelter. Good morning. And as you can see, this shelter is dead on the trail. It's right on the trail. There's no privy here. The spring is uh, just north of here. Uh, right on the trail again, not very far. Just working. It's a cute little fire ring. And inside it's actually pretty big. It was nice and cool last night. I mean, sleeping nice. right up this way and there's the other side. Now I heard there were ten sites right up the trail here. I did not notice them last night. Yep, there they are. At least one. It's not the best ten sites on the planet. Go up here a little further. I'm curious what we have. Those are not the coolest tent sites I've ever seen, but they're here. So it was a great night sleeping at the Outer Bridge shelter. It's a very short climb up out of the parking area to get there. It's a little rocky but really not bad. Looking at the radar last night, it looked like a couple of storms kind of parted and went north and south of where we were sleeping, so it was nice it did not rain. It was super cool, little breeze going on. I think fall is finally here. No more 90% humidity, 90 degrees plus stuff. Thank you. 